Hello Ben, thanks for agreeing to do this interview today. You're welcome. Um, first question, uh, you're classed as legally blind, uh, can you tell us what that means for you personally? To me personally it means that I have a complete loss of peripheral vision, so I've only got a very small central field of vision. Um, I'm down to less than 10 degrees field of vision instead of the normal person's 180 and being less than 10 degrees means that I'm classed as legally blind. It's right. sounds a bit of a funny thing to say but yeah, that's what that is. So. Okay. Tell us a bit about your guide dog. Well, okay, my guide dog, he's called Jack and he's a crossbreed of a German Shepherd and Golden Retriever. So that's actually a really good crossbreed I've discovered for working with. So he's got the eagerness and willingness to please of a golden retriever, but the intelligence of a German Shepherd. And it's, it's a, a combination I found that works very well for me. So he's very energetic, he's, uh, he's very enthusiastic, he's very friendly, he's very, very flirtatious. So he's <laughs> quite a... Yeah, he's very good at charming people at 200 yards away, you could say almost, that he just draws people to him. Um, so, a winning dog and a, a great companion, and um, yeah, he, he's, he's the business. What would you say the big advantage is to having Jack working for you? Big advantage, well I suppose the first one that comes to mind really is, he helps you regain a sense of independence. So rather than relying on the help of other people, which I still do anyway, because there are limitations to a guide dog. Um, but for myself, getting out and about, even when it's dark, because that's the thing for me where I, I have no night vision whatsoever, and especially in the winter where the days have got very short and it's still busy when it's dark. With a guide dog, I don't feel like I'm living under a curfew. So if I need to pop to the shops and it's dark and busy, he's the man to get me there. Uh, without any stress involved, I can just let him do his work and that, that's one of the big things. And the other side of it is companionship as well. So, you know, I, I live on my own and uh, so I have him as a companion who also is out and about with me at all times working with me. Um, there, there is that as well. So there's many aspects to the advantages of having a guide dog. But yeah, independence, I'd say, is the, uh, the big deal. Cool. And how long has Jack been your service dog? I took him on in February 2010, so that's over seven years, and so yeah, he's nine and a half now, so we're approaching retirement, I would say. Right, and um, you know the people who are going to give him a new home. Um, does it make it easier that you, you know Jack's new family? It does make it easier. Like I say, you know, I've spent over seven years with him. He goes with me everywhere, and we've got to know each other pretty well, you could say. And so it is very important to me that he is happy in retirement, and to be able to choose who I would like him to go to in retirement is a big thing because the person is a really good friend, and she actually lived with us for a couple of years, so Chap knows very well. And I have absolutely no doubt at all he's going to have a fantastic retirement with her. And you know, you feel that sort of sense of obligation towards making sure that he's happy in retirement because he's been there for me all through the last seven years and I've got to make sure that the next person is going to be there for him. Right. Yeah. And that's where he's stopping today, isn't it? That's why he's not, he's not here today. Yeah, yeah, there's this decoration being done around here and he does shed a lot of fur and I don't want fur <laughs> getting stuck in wet paint. Um, so in a way you could say that it's been a kind of trial run for his retirement and they absolutely love having him there. He is loving ha ha having the time there. I'm a little bit concerned he might be a bit down in the dump when I take him back he's got to get back to work. So, But we'll see how that goes. It'll be fine, I'm sure. Yeah. Great. Thanks very much. Oh, Cheers. You're welcome.